Hello and welcome to the ASMR Ear Cleaning Clinic. I believe that you have an appointment with us today. Good. Well, you are right on time. There's no need to give me any more information as I have it all in my folder here. So, I understand that you have been referred to us from your GP, your healthcare practitioner. Yes, you've been complaining about ear ache in both ears. Mm -hmm. And they referred you to us for a thorough clean and examination. Good. Well, I see that you have requested specifically to come to our clinic as you experience ASMR. So here at the clinic, instead of treating you very rushed and treating you quite typically as you would expect from a normal ear cleaning, all of my movements today are going to be very deliberate and very slow and we are going to take our time examining your ears and being very delicate and very deliberate as this is why we are an ASMR clinic. We try and make your medical examinations very relaxing for you as well as beneficial to you not only for the health condition that you have come to us with but also for your peace of mind and your relaxation. Most of our clients and patients come away feeling refreshed and relaxed. So hopefully this is something that you will also feel once we are done here today. So, what I'm going to start off is looking at your overall um, structure of your face. This is something that your GP may have already done with you, but I'm going to do it as well and I'm going to come a little bit closer to you if that's okay just mind your feet so what I am going to look at is the overall structure of your face and I'm going to just test your glands as well just to see if there's any sort of underlying infection that may have spread to your throat as you know, all the ears, nose and throat are all connected. So if you have an infection in your ear, this may spread to those areas also. So it's a good idea to just check and just to be sure. So I'm going to come just a little bit closer to you and just to look at your overall. Okay. Now I'm going to be just putting a little bit of pressure around your neck, around your head, and if you feel any discomfort then please let me know, okay? Okay. Just feel your glands. Mm -hmm. I do apologise for any noises that you may hear in outside of our office today. Even though we pride ourselves on trying to be as quiet and tranquil, our offices are located near a little thoroughfare where a lot of school children walk past as well as people who commute. So I apologise for any noises that may be distracting. Just look at your ear here. That seems fine. Your glands do seem a little bit swollen, but this is a fairly common thing. Just remove this necklace away from your neck. Okay. All right. Everything seems to be normal as far as I can see. Your glands are a little bit raised. Have you been experiencing any coughs or colds? Okay. 
Well, it's quite fairly common not to notice a cold if um, your immune system is fairly good. If your body is fighting something, your body will automatically respond in these ways and sometimes you may not see any physical symptoms. So, at least your body is working the way it should do. Okay, great, I'm just going to write down my findings. Our computer system is down today, so I'm writing everything by hand. Excellent. So now what I would like you to do is just give me a big broad smile. Yes, like that. And I know this may be a little bit uncomfortable at first because you're forcing a smile for a, and holding it for a long period of time, but this just lets me look at how the muscles are moving under your jaw and around your um, ears. And if there's any swelling or protrusion, that's not quite noticeable when you are, your face is relaxed. I'm going to come closer to you again. So just give me a big wide smile. Excellent. Okay. So I'm just going to go and look here. Okay. Yes, just keep holding it. I know it's a bit awkward. Excellent. Okay. Yes. Brilliant. Okay. Great. You can relax. Everything seems to be normal. So now I'm going to look actually inside your ears and I'm going to be using an otoscope to do that. I think the GP may have done this already, as you are referred to us, I, I assume. So I'm just going to look inside each ear with the otoscope with the light just to just confirm what I have in my notes from your GP. Okay. So I have my otoscope here. Now, part of the experience of the ASMR clinic, we will do a variety of different sounds with you. For instance, this fabric bag. And because we have a long appointment, we have time to do these sounds with you. In a traditional setting, this would not happen. Here is my otoscope, and I need to get a nib from this little container. But I will choose the one with the smallest um, hole, so I can correctly see in your ears without it being too uncomfortable. Put that back in the bag. So I will turn my little light on, as you can see, and I'm just going to look at your ear canal and the inner and outer ear. So I'm just going to come a little bit closer to you, a little bit closer than before, and just look. And I'm just going to gently palpate pull at the ear and if this feels uncomfortable in any way then please let me know but it shouldn't do so I'm just going to look in, inside the ear and what I'm looking for is any signs of infection or swelling of the outer ear as well as the inner ear once I put the otoscope in sometimes you can experience little um, spots on the outside of your ear just here which can cause swelling and a lot of pain as well. So I'm going to be looking for those. Oh, you have that on this ear? Right, I will have a look for that for you now. So I'm just going to look in the ear. I will try and be as delicate as possible. Yeah, just looking in the ear. Being as delicate as I can. Okay, that's good. Is that 
okay. Okay, great. All right, wonderful. Andy Enix. Andy Enix. And the canal and the drum all seem to be working very, very well. There does seem to be a mild, a um, little bit of mild infection swelling there, but I think that is due to your infection where your glands are up. Okay, so I believe in this ear. You have a tiny, tiny little spot just in there. Can I ask you, do you wear headphones a lot? Mm -hmm. Or ASMR? Right. It's very important that you make sure your headphones are very clean because a lot of the time bacteria can accumulate in these headphones and when you're putting them into your ears, they can cause a of nasty ear infections. So just make sure you're keeping your headphones clean. And the little spot in your ear is really not that bad at all. It will kind of heal by itself but the procedure that I will be doing with you today will hopefully clear that up and accelerate the healing process a little bit quicker. So I'm going to take a look on this side of your ear, on this ear, okay, that's good. I'm just going to look inside this ear and just pull on it just a tiny, tiny bit. Is that, is that okay? Alright, excellent. I do apologise if I hurt you in any way. I don't mean to hurt you. I'm trying to be very, very delicate. Findings. I think that you have just a very, very mild ear infection. The um, inner ear is a little bit red and sore and a bit inflamed, and that's probably why your glands are up as well. But I think that with the course of treatment that I will be giving you today, I think that will clear up and will be um, almost gone within a week. I also can see in this ear have a little bit of earwax build up which is absolutely fine um, but sometimes we can't necessarily reach into the portions of the ear um, that are quite sensitive. Can I ask you have you been finding it difficult lately to clean your ears? Mm -hmm. Okay well this is quite common when you have an ear infection the inner ear becomes very, very sensitive, and then you can't remove the earwax, so it builds up. So we will do some very moderate and mild ear um, earwax extraction for you today. Mm -hmm. Is that okay? Excellent. I'll just make sure my otoscope is turned off. I've been through many batteries leaving them on. So now what I would like to do is just to go ahead and perform the procedure on you. I will be using this Atomize spray, this ear spray, and it contains three different active ingredients which help to fight infection, fight swelling, and fight any bacteria that may be in the ear. So I just want you to have a look at this first. I will open the box for you. But first, let's do some sounds. Okay, and I just want to give you this pamphlet just to um, to check that you are not allergic to any of the ingredients. And it is in a form of a spray. Okay, which is a much more effective method than drops. Because it really works right into your ear. Instead of you having to wait for it to work and keeping your head to one side, you can really actively pinpoint where the product goes. So, 
if I can give you this leaflet, then you can just read the ingredients and the active products and just see if you're allergic to any of them, okay? I'm just going to write down my findings here. And when we will administer. It says on your chart you don't seem to be allergic to any products, not penicillin or anything. Mm -hmm. That's good. Okay. Have you read that? Okay, excellent, thank you. So I'm just going to put on a pair of latex free gloves. Just so I don't get any earwax or um, product on my hands and plus um, to make it more sanitary for you as well and these are very small gloves so I always always have trouble trying to get them on our supply department ordered small gloves instead of medium gloves so a lot of us are struggling to um, get them on our hands, so to say. But we all can't be perfect. <laughs> so how are you feeling now? Do you feel a little bit more relaxed? You know if you would like me to do anything that may produce an ASMR effect for you, like a little bit slower speech, or some latex glove sounds. As our clinic is relatively new, we are always striving to make our clients and our customers have a much more pleasant experience. At the end of our session, if you would be so kind as to fill in a questionnaire and a feedback form, then we can really, really tailor the, um, the experience a lot more effectively. So that would be really helpful. So I have finally got my gloves on. I'm just going to come and have a quick look at what your ear is doing. So with this um, spray, I'm just going to put this tiny little nozzle into your ear and then compress the pump once. I will say that this is a little bit cold and a little bit weird, so I do apologise. But if you have any sensation, like a burning sensation or some sort of adverse reaction, then please let me know as soon as you feel it, okay? But as you have said, you're not allergic to any of those products in the active ingredients in this, then it should be fine. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do, put it in your ear and then I will count to three and spray. Are you ready? It will be a little bit cold. Ready? One, two, three. Is that okay? It feels very, very odd, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Okay, so if you're feeling that sensation, just tip your head just slightly like that and just let the product run. Mm -hmm. All right, just stay there for a few moments, that's fine. Does it feel okay? Would you like a cotton swab to just hold it there? You would, okay. Let me just get one of those for you. This one. Okay, here you are. Just, just hold it there. Yes, that's fine. Just keep it like that. Uh, if you just keep that cotton swab there, just if you feel like the product's going to just drip out, just hold it there while I do the other ear. Okay. Same again on this ear. Are you ready? One, two, three. Okay, excellent. 
Would you like another cotton pad for that ear too? Okay. There you go. Okay. How does that feel? I said, how does that feel? <laughs> yes. Okay. Well, just, if you just remain there just for a couple of minutes. Well, not even a couple of minutes, just a few seconds. You can really feel it working down your throat. This sort of back bit here. There. Can you smell it as well? Mm -hmm. It's very interesting how all of this area is all connected. Mm -hmm. Are you okay now? From you. Okay. Right, so now with that product just gently working into your ears, I am just going to remove all the stubborn earwax from your ears. The product won't come out, it's actually actively working and is absorbed into the skin almost instantly as the ear is fairly sensitive and can absorb products fairly quickly. So I'm just going to take a cotton swab and just clean up any product that may have escaped during the procedure. Okay, and just to get that stubborn earwax out, I'm going to be using my otoscope once again just to make sure that I have all the stubborn earwax out. Okay, so I'll do this ear first. Okay, great. Let's get out the stubborn earwax. That is prevalent in here. Just let me know if that hurts in any way. Okay, great. This ear isn't so bad. feel good better okay so just this away. okay so that is our ear cleaning done for today now I will give you the spray to take home with you and you will need to use this once um, three times a day once in the morning once in the afternoon and once in the evening. I recommend not using this just before you go to bed, um, just in case um, you haven't administered it correctly and if you lay on your side all the product will escape. So just do it a couple of hours before you go to bed and that should be fine. So um, take this 
until the course runs out, until you've not got any more um, one spray in each ear. And if your symptoms persist, then please come back to us. Again, if you have any irritation or any discomfort using the product, then please call us as soon as possible. But I think now that you're on this course, I think your infection, as it is quite mild, um, it should clear up in about a week or so. Great. So thank you very much for coming in to see me today. It's been a pleasure to meet you. And please let me know what you thought of this experience today by filling in our questionnaire. It would be lovely to know what you thought about our ASMR ear clinic. And we also have a sister clinic for hearing tests. Have you ever considered having a hearing test done? You have? Have you ever had one in the past? No. Well, our sister clinic um, provide very, very thorough hearing tests. So please, if you would like to go to the receptionist and ask about that, then I can refer you over to that clinic. I wouldn't be concerned that your hearing is um, is on par, so I wouldn't be too concerned. But it's always nice to know that either you have good hearing or you don't. So I would encourage you to go and have a hearing test. And it is also an ASMR hearing test clinic as well. So you may experience some of the nice tingles that we experience through ASMR. Well, it's been lovely to meet you and let me know how you get on with those eardrops and hopefully I won't see you again but if not take care and I will see you again very soon.